This is day 37 of Tara's 100th day calendar. I'm Rupert Sheldrake. I'm, uh, I've just been having a dialogue with Andrew Cohen about consciousness, the universe, the future of humanity, the meaning of life, and almost everything else. And um, uh, we had a lot of fun, and I just met Tara, and um, so I plunged right into the middle of her diary. Thank you very much, that was really good, thank you. <laughs> Hi! How good was that? Rupert Sheldrake there, introducing my video. See, I'm using my courage to actually go and get these fascinating people to introduce for me. Now he's a really interesting man, I'm going to tell you about him in a minute. So tonight I went to The Window, which is um, an organisation um, associated with this magazine. This is an old copy, What is Enlightenment? Spirituality for the 21st century. So what I like about this magazine is that it um, crosses over science, kind of cutting edge science, quantum physics, with um, spirituality, which I think um, if you've watched The Secret or even What, what the Bleak Do We Know, there's it's similar ideas, I think. Uh, so tonight there was a conversation between Rupert Sheldrake and Andrew Cohen, who's um, strongly involved with the magazine, and I think they have, I think it's a kind of worldwide organisation. I'm not sure. And it was really interesting. Rupert Sheldrake, I've heard talk before, and he has some theories around our mind and consciousness and the mind existing outside of the body in a way that we actually reach out and connect with people. Uh, he's, I think he's written a book called A Sense of Being Stared At. So this idea that if someone's staring at you from behind, you, you have a sense of that. Or if you're staring at someone and they turn around, so he's, he's done some really interesting experiments around uh, things like that and um, even kind of telepathy, I think. Um, I will put his web address in the side bit here so you can look him up if you want. Uh, so the things, a couple of things he said tonight, because I can't tell you everything, and I didn't uh, record the presentation because I hadn't asked permission, I wasn't sure if it was okay. So... Um, you won't see any of that. A couple of things he said. Um, he talked about being grateful, which is great, and saying a little prayer before your dinner, acknowledging and connecting with all those people that, um, it, you know, got their food onto your table. So I thought that was nice. And installing kind of new habits um, rather than laws. He calls them habits. So... Uh, and he also talked about the media and how um, that we, we're kind of brought up to be very materialistic and maybe that gets in the way of our achieving kind of a high level of consciousness or enlightenment. And how him and his wife chose to um, bring their children up without TV, video games, etc., things like that and their children are thanking them for that now that was good uh, yeah um, so I met some great people and I did I'm gonna show you some of them I just have to say I met a, a guy called Julian tonight and the very first thing I said to him well actually I always think I can tell when people are Irish just by looking at them I looked at this guy as I walked over and I thought, he looks so Irish. And I, the first thing I said to him, I said, you you have to be Irish. And I was right. He, he's he got Irish blood, 100%. Well, I'm 100% Irish. I think he's got Irish blood in him. So anyway, you'll meet him in a minute. I met fantastic people. It was a great night. Wow. Wait till you see who I met. They're lovely. <laughs> okay. See you all tomorrow.
100 day challenge and it's Julian Murphy. Hi, I am also started a 100 day challenge on the September the 6th and it finishes on December the 16th. However, I lost my camera when I first started the day after on September 7th it got stolen. So have you just done so, one video then? So I haven't done any videos oh, at all. Oh, okay. But I tell you what, my life has just dramatically changed so much since I started my 100 day challenge. And I've just been replacing these negative things that are distractions with positive things. We're coming to you know meditation here at the window, with starting a course on Kabbalah, uh, with all I, my entire life has changed dramatically in the last That's 70, brilliant. 80 days, however long it's been. I've lost track really. So it's really working for you. It's incredible, yeah. It's really you know, I wish I really you you're the first one. you just reminded me actually about recording the progress and I haven't recorded yeah. any of the programs. Okay. I just want to share uh, with you Tara that we are meeting here at the window to share the power of the intention and that's really taking on what happened at the, at the secret. They reckon there's over a billion people who have actually watched the secret. Yeah. So we've decided why not take the law of attraction to another level and harness the power of intention. So we meet here every Tuesdays as a yeah. group to actually make it happen and share experiences yeah. and make it fun and you know and we also provide people with all the tools to become financially free give them the time freedom and fulfillment wow. figure out what their purpose and passion is and, and make it happen so i look forward to yeah, people definitely. joining it I'm going, to, I'm going to start another 100 day challenge in the new year and I'm going to record all of that. We are going to do a, a two hour presentation and it's going to be on Facebook so anyone wants information Brilliant. can okay. go to my Robert De Souza on Facebook and participate. So we encourage anyone who's seen The Secret okay. to, to come and join us. I'm going to introduce you to Chris and he's Hi. going to tell you a bit about himself. Hi, I'm Chris Parrish and I run this place here in Light in Light Next and there's quite a buzz in the background that's because we're after this uh, dialogue between Andrew Cohen and Rupert Sheldrake and this is the sort of thing I love doing because I think there's nothing more enjoyable than getting people to come together for a cause greater than themselves and to really stretch themselves to reach to beyond ego really because I think that's where the real joy of human relationship is and when you can get a whole group of people like this doing that uh, to me that's what uh, one of the greatest joys in being alive Brilliant and last night I was talking to you about big thinkers about surrounding yourself with big thinkers and you'll think bigger so um, definitely Chris is a big thinker <laughs> so thank you for that and I'm lucky enough just to have met Tara, who I'm feeling spontaneously drawn to. Not only because she's stylish, but because she's very passionate and I feel that she is on the cusp of a future that she has yet to see unfold. Fantastic, thank you. Wonderful. And it's an honour to meet you. Thanks for asking me to be on your video. Thank you.